What's going on, everybody? Al King in the building. Um, I have a couple of thoughts for you guys here today. Um, normally, when I start these videos, I, I tell you guys that I am the CEO and founder of Top Networkers Group. Um, and from time to time, I'll also include that I'm the chief educational officer for the One MLM system. And don't get caught up in titles. Titles literally mean nothing. Okay, um, the only reason I tell people that is so that they understand um, what my role is. That's all. Okay, um, when I put Top Networkers Group together, I've I've told this story several times. I really wanted to make sure that my team, my business partners, had access to the correct information. Right. Um, and so when it came to setting up the one MLM system, you know, which as for those who follow the channel, that happened two years after, right? Top Networkers Group got started in 2020, 2010. Um, the one MLM system was rolled out at the end of 2012. Um, and so all the way up until two to 2013, that was like our first year. Um, you, you know, all the way up into uh, December of 2014, that was two years in. So what you're looking at right now is a system that's been around for just over two years. And you're looking at um, a movement that has been happening slowly. But, ha but progress, you know, see, you know, slow progress is still progress, right? Um, and what's been happening all along is just sort of several things. Because again, being that I have a certain role to play, there's a lot that I have to do. Now, I've been asking for help all along. Um, and a lot of people in our society, when they come to me, they come to me with the programming and the baggage that society um, already put in them. So oftentimes here, over the past couple of years, you may have heard me mention a couple of names here and there. Um, and I've been really and truly trying to get roles out to other people. Um, one of those roles within the one MLM system is the chief vision officer. Now, this is the person who is absolutely responsible for presentations. Um, I would love to hand off the educational officer role. This is a, someone who's going to be responsible for the trainings. Um, we have ranks which are going to allow people to have even more input and more say in what's going on with the system, with our tools. Um, and so when you come to me, everything is in place. The real question is, what role are you going to play on the team? That's the question. And role players are vital to a team's success. And I've written about this in our sports and business um, you know, conversation on our blog, the importance of role players on all championship teams. Um, whereas we're talking about the Miami Heat teams, um, we know the stars, but the role players had a huge um, hand in what, 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 what occurred there. You know, the, the Mario Chalmers, the Birdman, the Udonis Haslams, you know, even Ray Allen to a degree who has sort of, um, you know, he was sort of a shell of himself, but he even played a role in those championships. Um, whereas with the Lakers, a lot of times it was like Derek Fishers and Robert Ories and Rick Foxes and all these people played a role in the championship. We don't win those championships without those role players, without Ron Artest coming to the Lakers and, to, and playing a, 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 a diminished role for him. Right, and see, sometimes that's what it's about. When you're in, in, in MLM, you may feel like you're somebody special, and that's good. It's good to have confidence, but sometimes you might have to dial it down a little bit, and you might have to um, put your movement on, on on hold. See, again, whenever I'm approaching someone else's movement, when 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 when, when, when I realize they have something going, I, I don't go to their thing and suggest changes. But people do this. People have been doing this to, to our movement from jump. Um, they, they don't have a movement. They don't have a team. They don't have anything in place. But they want to sort of make suggestions. And look, I'm used to it. It's okay. It's fine. But if you want to win, if you want to be a winner, you don't come to the Lakers and quest the triangle when Phil Jackson's the, the coach. You come to the Lakers and you learn the triangle. 
Because by learning the triangle, you'll play and you'll win championships because it's the system that's already in place. When, when you join a championship franchise, your goal is to be part of the championships, to do what you can do to help make those championships a reality. Sometimes you're going to have to be the star. Sometimes you're going to have to play the back. Now, me personally, I would love to be in the, be, be in the back. Um, but, but again... Um, one of the reasons I started Top Networkers Group is I just didn't agree with a lot of stuff that's going on in the MLM industry. Primarily, um, these groups of teams at the top that jump from company to company to company and they tell everyone, focus on this company, focus on this company. But meanwhile, they're having secret meetings and they're positioning themselves in various things, but they're not bringing it to the masses. And it's creating distrust, it's creating disillusionment, um, and oftentimes what's also happening, which isn't really talked about a lot, I talk about it a lot, um, is there's a lot of cross-line re- 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 recruiting going on. See, when the top 20 leaders in a company um, position themselves on something on the side, because they know that their company's having problems, that they're telling everyone to focus on, focus on, focus on this, don't do anything else, don't do anything else. We saw this with Wake Up Now, for example. Um, Wake Up Now goes out of business. The people at the top now relaunch into a brand new business, and now there are people who were in other folks' downlines in Wake Up Now who are um, sort of gravitating to this other team and to these other uplines. That's what I'm saying. Like There's, there's so much disloyalty and dis- unity within network marketing and the structure itself, network marketing, the business model itself is about unity and loyalty, right? So these things go against what we're about. So in order to really grow a right, proper organization, I myself as CEO decided I'm going to go look for people I can build this with. So for me, it's mostly been a sorting process for the past four years, really and truly getting to know people, talking to people, and I've met some great candidates, and yet, and, 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 and still, I cannot make anyone do anything. They have to want to be a part of it. Now, if the people I'm meeting have their own thing, and they don't really want to drop their agendas, and they don't want to really be part of building and creating something, that's fine. My job as a leader is to go out and look for the ones who do it to continue to improve and make things better. So again, that's my role with the team. Um, but also as a CEO, I have, to, I have to do a lot of stuff. So if you're out there, if you're watching, if you're part of the, the uh, team, please come to the team with the right mentality. Come with a mentality of playing a role, seeing what you can do to help us be better, to help us get to where we want to go. Um, find out what you can do. And one of the first things that you can do is to produce. Put 10 people in the system. Get 10 people into the system. The reason why that we have been pushing the system, pushing the system, pushing the system is because inside the system is training. See, 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 see again. When I was joining a lot of these, these affiliate programs, one of the first things I noticed is so many of these affiliate programs don't have proper training. A lot of companies in MLM, especially today, the ones that are brand new, that have been around for maybe four or five years, many of them do not really have good, accurate training. Now, what some of you don't understand or may not understand is MLM has a curriculum. There are certain topics and subjects that need to be understood. These are not up for debate. Even though there are people that will de- debate them, they'll tell you that you don't need this or don't need that. Or that's, that that's all hogwash. Again, this is why I have my own movement. And uh, uh, unless you've been through our system, because, you know, when I share publicly on the on the YouTube, I don't give you all the good nuggets. All that stuff is on the inside. And as we move forward, I'm going to be shutting down even more. There's a bunch of trainings and, and, and videos that can be watched on YouTube in the future. That won't be the case, right? So as we continue to grow and, and continue to Im- improve, the information is going to get locked down more and more because I only want to reserve this for the best, for the best of the best, for the ones who have the right mindset, the right attitude, the right desire to learn, and then to duplicate what works rather than 
um, making it all about self and trying to shine. Look, we'll shine later. Let's let's get in the trenches. Let's help more people make more money in this industry, and we'll shine later. Let's let's help other people shine. See, those of you who seek to bring light into the lives of others cannot hide it from yourselves. Keep that in mind, right? Join us, join our movement, because that's what we're about. We want to shine light, and we 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 want to lift folks up, right? You can be part of that. TopNetworkersGroup.com. Get started. We'll see you at the top. Thanks for watching.